The idea is to push the metaphor as far as you can and then disrupt it. One part is really designing for the experience. How do you put together a series of spaces modulated by light and structure to allow your user to have a heightened sense of experience? The second part is really how do you create the structure? So that part is really about language, but it has to be influenced by placemaking, by the culture and by the craft and by the, the people of that place. You need to have discipline to build a brand. You can't have in your studio five different directions. So everything that comes from SCDA studio needs to look like it's designed by one person. You need to kind of consolidate your understanding how to put a building together because as a design principle, you would need to be able to convey that to all your associates and architects. First 10 and now 20 years was just trying to build that so everybody could work in tandem and realize the same vision. So the more you build, the easier it gets because there's a reference. And every project that we do is a reiteration and a confirmation of what we have done and a bit of invention. It could be 75% or 80% reiteration and 20% innovation. By doing that, you, you kind of move the chain forward slowly and everybody grows a bit. So a design language comes about by building, by trial and error, until you reach a moment where you understand that this is it. This is what my design is about. Then you spend the rest of the time trying to bring that understanding to the rest of the studio. That, that has been my role. But when you get to a point where you're stabilized and design becomes intuitive, you don't think about it. To be holistic, you cannot just be an architect. So at SCDA, we are architects, we're urban planners, we are interior designers, we're landscape architects. We are always looking at the components of design as broken down into volume, line, and plane. And space had to be informed by light and by sound and by materiality and by a clarity of structure. The one lesson that classical architecture taught me is that structure and rigor can delight. <laughs>